Platypus. When we see the platypus, we ask ourselves, did God run out of ideas when he created it? And that's because it's a beaver with legs and the mouth of a duck. However, it's not the only animal that looks like a mix of two very different creatures. There are jellyfish that look like flying discs, and fish that seem like they were born from a bat. Today we want you to join us and learn more about five cryptids that might actually exist in real life. But before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With that being said, let's begin. Number 5. Dumbo Octopus Are you one of those people who love the Disney classic movie, whose main character is a misunderstood elephant that is bullied for having big ears? Well, the creature we'll show you next will remind you a lot of that cute little animal. Although you may think it's a distant relative of the elephant, it's actually a kind of octopus. As you can see, it has two fins on its top which, unlike Dumbo, he doesn't use them to fly, but to swim. These are creatures that don't exceed 20 centimeters in length, although on one occasion it was possible to see one that measured 1.8 meters and weighed 6 kilograms. Don't let its appearance fool you though. The Dumbo octopus is a carnivorous animal and it loves to eat its prey in one bite. This feature is different from other octopi which peck their victims to eat them little by little. Its favorite dish is crustaceans and marine worms. Don't worry, we don't think you'll bump into one of these if you go to the beach given that this funny and strange creature can only be seen in the deepest part of the oceans. In fact, it's one of the few animals that can live in these conditions. They can withstand atmospheric pressures that go up to 2,000 meters deep, and science isn't sure yet if there are other animals that can resist as much pressure as this one does. By living so far below the ocean surface, they have no contact with sunlight. Therefore, their skin has very light tones, almost white in fact. Very little is known about the species since a very advanced team is needed to observe it in its natural habitat. Therefore, science see it as somewhat of a mystery. If you're curious about how this animal moves, let us tell you it's driven by its tentacles, while its protuberances, which are not ears, shoot jets of water, working as a form of propulsion. Another of the strange features that are known about this animal is that they can empty their transparent layer of their skin at will. We also wonder why they do that. These octopi live around the world, and so far 18 types of Dumbo octopi have been discovered. Although it's presumed that there are more variants, but so far science haven't been able to see that just yet. Number 4. The Water Bear The next creature could be a bit grotesque, but there are some people who think its rarity makes it charming. The tardigrades are commonly known as water bears. They're close relatives of mollusks and lobsters, although they have very little resemblance to these animals. These invertebrates are extremely small. The largest ones that have been found measure only 0.5 millimeters. If you're wondering, why do animals with extended and oval shapes are called bears? Don't worry, you're not the only one. We also don't find much similarity with these mammals. What we mean is that if you look at their body, you can detail it's divided into five parts. One of them is its head and the rest are its legs, which have small claws and suckers that help attach itself to surfaces. Water bears are usually found in waters that are originated in ferns, mosses, and lichens. They need vital liquids to feed themselves. They feed on other animals and plants to which they suck the liquid as if it were a vampire or a leech. The reason why they've been relevant in the scientific community in recent years is their ability to live in very extreme conditions. Therefore, they're considered incredible animals. All marine biologists are studying them. Many dare to say that if they could discover how these animals manage to live in these habitats, then human beings would find the key so that they would be able to live in these places as well. They can survive in any ecosystem of the planet, and even the scientific community sent a hive of them into space, would survive those conditions. All thanks to a biological mechanism of hibernation they have which is activated when they aren't in contact with water. When this happens, they enter into a state of undefined rest, similar to one that bears enter during winter and they only return to their habitual behavior when they come into contact with the substance yet again. Away from water, their body becomes dehydrated and their biological processes are suspended. However, the maximum period of time they can live in this condition is about 4 years. Although recent studies have theorized they can actually live up to 120 years hibernating. Would you buy a ticket for this flight using this technology? Number 3. Batfish in the middle of our list today, we find another animal that looks like a mixture of totally different creatures. This time it's a fish that's a combination of a bat and an angry clown. And even if you find it strange, 
this isn't the only fish whose fins look like bat wings. In fact, there are 13 other similar species. However, this is the only one of its cousins who has huge red lips. Scientists think this tone is used by males to attract females. Do you think it works for them? This peculiar animal can be found in the Galapagos Islands, especially in the Coco and Mapello Islands. It was discovered in 1958 by the American ichthyologist Carl Levitt Hubs, and it usually lives on the sandy bottoms of the reefs, at a depth in between 3 and 30 meters, although usually it can be found at 10 meters. Its color is light brown and it has some parts that are darker than others. If you're one of those people who aren't good swimmers, the red-lipped batfish understand you, given that they prefer to walk at the bottom of the sea instead of swimming through its waters. When they reach their age of maturity, their dorsal fin becomes an extension of their spine, and they use it as bait to capture their prey, a technique similar to raptors. If you would like to have one of these as a pet, you'll have to buy a very large fish tank, since they usually measure between 20 and 40 centimeters long. Although you have to get used to seeing its body covered with fine scales, which look like they have hair on them. The most frightening thing is that it's almost horizontal mouth, which gives it an expression of anger. Maybe it will remind you of Pennywise from the It movie. We have nothing against them, but to us, its great head and its relatively short and compressed body are a little bit frightening. If you want to have one of these in your house, you should feed it mainly mollusks, crustaceans, shrimps, and other kinds of small creatures from the sea. But don't worry, this is considered a creature of minor concern, or what is the same as saying they're not violent. In fact, they're very peaceful. The species is not threatened by human beings, and they seem to be long-lived before they have this risk. As you can see, the closer animals get to the bottom of the sea, the safer they are from human beings. Number two, sea butterfly. If you wonder how it's possible for a butterfly to live under the water, don't worry. It's actually not a butterfly, but a suborder of marine snail. They're beings of small size that usually measure one centimeter. Similar to the Dumbo octopi, they have lobes that allow them to be propelled by small flaps. This type of snail has lost its shell. However, there are some variants that have a cartilage-like shape and some have developed transparent shells. They tend to feed on plankton, which they hunt thanks to a small web made of their own mucus, a technique that resembles a spider web. At night, they usually rise to the surface, while in the day, they are in the depths of the sea. They live in all the oceans, being one of the most abundant species on Earth. Although they move very fast, sometimes these tiny marine butterflies are the food of one of their cousins, the sea angel snail. As you can see in the following video, its movement is not organized and it's violent. To capture these images, they had to be trapped in their natural habitat and taken to an aquarium to be filmed. Scientists are surprised that these snails push their lobes in the water like butterflies and fruit flies use their wings to fly. They swim like insects. The system consists of generating low pressure zones in the form of a vortex in order to move between fluids. These animals have helped scientists in early detection of when levels of acidification fall to alarming levels. Since the accumulation of CO2 is causing the shell of many snails to fall apart, this is happening more frequently in Antarctica. Number 1. The Atolla Jellyfish we're sure after seeing this jellyfish, you'd want to believe it's an image captured from space. But no, the images were captured in the depths of the sea at about 1,000 meters. The team that was on board the Okeanos exploration vessel, NOAA, NOAA, claimed that they appeared to be flying saucers. The specimen was discovered on the California coast by the company's marine biologist. Dr. Mike Ford in his report reveals that the animal had previously been seen in the waters of the Arctic. Antarctic, North Atlantic, and Pacific Oceans, the Gulf of Mexico, and off the coast of New Zealand. In fact, this type of jellyfish has a flat disc shaped like an umbrella. That's why it's a little complicated to identify them when the images are revealed. The Atolla jellyfish species has six variants, so identifying the subtype of each one can be complicated given that you should analyze the wavy edges of its bell, its total size, and the disposition of its stomach. As you can see earlier, animals that usually live on the bottom of the sea have a dense or pigment-free tone. However, the Atolla jellyfish has a very vibrant color. This is because the red light is usually weak and can't be seen in the depths of the ocean. Few animals with a reddish hue are invisible on the black background. These jellyfish are known for their spectacular underwater light play. Its eight ring-shaped gonads illuminate as a defense mechanism, something like an anti-theft alarm. Its umbrella works like the siren on a police car. It's activated when it feels threatened to discourage larger animals, like squid. You have to admit, there are animals on our planet that look like creatures from outer space. 
the Atolla jellyfish is one of them. All right, top fivers. If you haven't already, make sure to visit our official website, thefinestpost.com, for the best and most interesting articles you will ever see. If you enjoy our videos, you will definitely love what we have there too. There will be a link on the screen and a link in the description to our website, so make sure to come visit. See you there. Or you can go to our latest video popping up on screen right now. Come on, click it. You know you want to. Oh, and while you're here, subscribe also. Heard it gives you superpowers. Anyway, see you soon.